Legends, welcome back to another video. You really don't wanna be missing this video. I am gonna be jumping into a new listing on the OK Exchange, the Pyth Network. I'm gonna go into the use cases, exactly what it is, the importance of the upcoming bull run with this token, and of course, make sure you stick around because we're gonna go through some technical analysis as to where we could see this token potentially be moving in the future. Thank you for joining me once again, all you legends out there. Thanks for supporting the channel. Let's go ahead, hit that like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell because we're gonna hit 3K subscribers very shortly. Guys, I'm back from my short journey overseas. And of course, I do have a bit of a beard, but what's more important about this video, guys, is the new listing, one of the new listings. And of course, I've bought you videos in the past of other listings as well. But this is not a meme coin, guys. This is Pyth, and we're gonna jump into exactly the importance of it, where it could be heading in terms of price action towards the end of this video. But to better understand the value of this, we need to jump into its use case and exactly what is it. Because as we know, in 2017, the importance of this, guys, is DeFi tried to make a appearance within the blockchain or the crypto space. It kind of failed then. We had our last bull market, DeFi exploded. We had things like BNB exploding due to the factor of the Binance Smart Chain. We had exchange swapping mechanisms like PancakeSwap. So let's take a look at Pyth Network. It basically supplies on-chain data for real world life life assets just like that of Chainlink, but guys, it does it even better. And when we have this DeFi market kickoff in the next run, this is going to be a big player because of some of the advantages I'm going to go through shortly. But in short, the Python network is the largest first party oracle for the world's financial data, and it needs it. The DeFi space needs this data in order to uh, build applications on the uh, decentralized financial ecosystem. You need data. But you don't just need data, you need fast data. If you don't have fast data, how are you supposed to have good swapping mechanisms, liquidations on decentralized exchanges? These are the benefits that come with the Pyth network. It does support more than 300 real-time price feeds across major asset classes, includes digital assets, equities, ETFs, commodities, and so forth. It is absolutely unbelievable, and the network comprises of some of the world's largest exchanges, market makers, and financial services providers contributing their proprietary price data on chain for aggregation and distribution to smart contract applications so think of it if you're on a decentralized app uh, decentralized exchange you don't want to use your kyc on another exchange and you want to be getting in and out of trades with accurate price data you know not hitting things slower you want um, things to trigger swapping mechanisms to reach accurate prices at that time in which you swap a token, i.e. trading on decentralized ecosystem, this has the solution. Jumping onto their website, the blockchain oracle for market data. Smarter data for smarter contracts. Secure your smart contracts with reliable, low latency market data from institutional sources. Build applications with higher fidelity Oracle feeds designed for mission critical systems. Now guys, don't go anywhere because we're gonna jump into some technical analysis as to where the price can go. But of course, here we're talking about, it's, it's built on the Solana chain by the way, which must be said because of its fast transaction speeds per second. What are the use cases for the um, Pyth network? Well, it is low latency price feeds. So again, if you are building, if you're a developer, this is great, but for any users, this use case is quite big because when DeFi explodes, because we know so many exchanges are coming out with KYC right now, restricting you to actually register to trade in certain countries, the decentralized financial ecosystem doesn't require as yet KYC, and you can do that by connecting a decentralized wallet like MetaMask. What this does is it allows real-time data latency free it updates every 400 milliseconds of price other oracles and protocols do this a lot slower so this is one of the things that the Pyth network actually solves when it comes to this and we're on use cases right now and we can explore that so data latency it's faster okay we've also got market coverage provides 300 plus price feeds across digital assets forex equities etfs commodities and more data sourcing reliability and scalability. This is absolutely fundamental. And these are the, some of the prospective 
success use cases that could drive this token absolutely insane. So this does have a really good use case. It's the fastest of its, its current um, Oracle at the moment which is very interesting. And I think this is gonna do great coming the next bull run because there are gonna be a lot of other DeFi applications, dApps that are gonna to come to space that need to use this kind of technology to have that fast latency price feeds or market data in general. First, jumping onto the OKX exchange. If you wanted to trade this pair, you can. Simply coming up to the trade tab, if you've signed up, they're offering this in spot, meaning you buy low, sell high, and you profit from that. You can trade at perpetuals here where you can be trading both directions of the market and of course margin now it is currently up right now at around about 13 percent which is really interesting but we need to jump in and do some technical analysis together guys so let's go ahead and do that i am on the okx exchange i am charting on the okx exchange quite a nice open since opening i'm on the 15 minute time frame we have this blue 100 period at moving average right here now, this is just forming because of the time in which it's just been listed, but we can see it is still acting as that dynamic levels of resistance, this line, so the price comes up, it could reject it, guys, and also dynamic levels of support. The reason it's dynamic is because it's moving constantly with the price smooth to a period of 100. Now, if you want more videos on moving averages, check my profile, but guys, we are struggling to hold this 100 period right here. We can see that the candle is red and it is sort of in between or hasn't busted clearly above or clearly below, meaning that we are testing this 100 period moving average and either could see a break to the downside or a pump to the upside. If we see a pump to the upside or downside, guys, you want to know your support and your resistance, your floor, your ceiling, and your floor or ceiling is around 28 cents to about 29 cents. This is your floor. This is your level of support for the price. Why is that? Well, I'm going to tell you because you can see, of course, that the price is being supported at this level right here multiple times. So people are seeing demand and a point of interest for this token at that price. That's your floor, guys. So if we are to bust to the downside with this moving average, we could revisit this and potentially bust up to the upside after we uh, have a confirmation of a bounce. The next question is, well, what if we pump to the upside, guys? Well, your floor, where people are selling potential opportunities to sell the price down or sell their profits, is at this point right here at 35 cents to around 37 cents. You can see how many times we are sitting and rejecting from this point right here. That is your floor, guys. So say we clear this 100 period moving average and we, we continue being bullish on the 15 minute time frame, we could see a pump or a movement to the upside of around about 8% until we hit that level. We have just started a fresh candle under this 100 period moving average, which confirms that we could come back onto this floor. However, not done yet, guys. Moving average convergence divergence. We are seeing it is struggling, the histogram, to taper off the distance between the two lines. We are still bearish and could see the price heading more towards um, this level of support, potentially offering a short position. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. But this is something I'm eyeing out for my trade as well. The MACD is potentially telling us it is not yet ready for these crosses, either bearish cross or bullish cross. We are still, we still have plenty of distance between the two lines, the MACD and the signal line. So let's get rid of the MACD and let's throw out the Ichimoku cloud because this will compute future levels of support or resistance. What we can see is we have had the conversion line down through the baseline, the blue through the red right here. You can just see it here, boom. That there is potentially a minor bearish um, signal, which could bring us back onto the cloud here at minus 4%. Now, this cloud is gonna act as a level of support. It's computing future levels of support where the price could potentially bounce from. So, two things are gonna happen here. Either we are going to have a definitive rejection under this blue 100 period moving average, we're gonna revisit this level of support. Now, this is a target. If we are to revisit this level of support, the price has to come through this lower level of the cloud, more likely than not, because when the cloud flips like this, this gives rise to a weak level and the price could easily fall through it should there be more selling pressure. However, what could happen is we could sit here and consolidate bounce on this cloud, it can act as support and we could enter a nice long position to this level of resistance and update your stop loss or sell your profits. That's your choice. I'm eyeing this trade. This is going to be very interesting, guys. That is a little bit of technical analysis. That is your top and your bottom as yet because it has just been released, guys. Overall, my conclusions with this protocol, amazing. I mean, the DeFi space is going to absolutely explode. It is already exploding. I've seen so many projects reach out in this bear market trying to build for this. Once funding comes in, the, this is going to be unreal. So yes, everything needs data in this life to be able to run. Anything you are playing, using, interacting with, 
has data, uses data, aggregates data from somewhere and, and makes sense of it in the, in the case of what you're using an app, whatever it be, okay? The same applies for the DeFi space, but the DeFi space has many issues in which the Pyth network actually attempts to solve. One being its latency, it doesn't have it. It updates every 400 milliseconds, which is unbelievable. So should you want to check out their uh, socials, of course, of, they have their own website. They have some really neat YouTube videos as well. I would go check them out and do some research on it. I think this is going to be a very, very big hidden gem for the DeFi space this season. And however, guys, it's available on OKX Exchange. Trade where the most volume is. I mean, at the end of the day, you want to be able to get in, get out. You want liquidity. That's where it is. The OKX Exchange. Guys, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.